I'm so excited to talk to someone about this series. Wow. Um, <laughs> so Anya, Yennefer has so many great scenes this season, a lot more action sequences, um, not to spoil anything, but the tavern scene was one of my faves. So did you really enjoy getting to play the more physical side of her this season? And uh, did you have a favorite stunt? Oh, yeah, I loved, I mean, of course, her physical journey changes this season. Um, she's a very changed woman, and so she has to rely on her physical strength a lot more. Um, I definitely enjoy, I'd loved more the stunt aspect of it. Um, I think she's got a lot to give. Uh, I kind of relish those scenes. And whenever I'm like put up against my biggest threat in the show, um, physically, you know, that challenge, it's, it's, it's always gonna be my favorite scene because I work from a place of movement anyway and love that expression. So yeah, I loved it. And Mimi Fringilla has a major costume change this season, which I think really shows how much she comes into her power this season. Um, did you have any input on the costumes and um, what, what was your favorite part of that aspect of it? The costume change, that was such a collaboration in terms of um, how I wanted to feel in it, number one. Um, and even having conversations with Lauren about what that power is, you know, how much of that power is genuine power, how much of that is power that she puts on herself to look like she's powerful, but maybe she's not there emotionally. I was placed in a kingdom at the whim of the Brotherhood's wants. We all were. Just gilded pawns to control kingdoms, nothing more. We weren't forced to do anything. Should I have left my post as you did? It shirked my duties, wasted my talents. Perhaps if I'd had to say it to shield me from consequences... Perhaps if you thought for yourself instead of licking others' boots. Eager to please, easy to wound. And I feel like the costume really helped us tell that story. Um, I really enjoy how it just makes me hold myself and how that is a part of her armour and her cover as well. She feels a little more grounded this season. I mean, when I say grounded, she's still, I mean, quite lost. Um, but she has to be, oh, without spoiling anything, she has to be a lot more grounded to survive. She can't rely on things she had last season. So um, I'm excited for the fans to see the certain decisions that this changed Yennefer makes. And Mimi, the characters are so well written on this series. Um, uh, all you get to do so much, stunts, magic, humor, emotional scenes. What is your favorite aspect of Fringilla to play? For me, my favorite bit with Fringilla this season is the relationships. It's her process. It's that we get an insight into her struggle. Um, that she's still, you know, she's still very bold, um, but there's also a lot of vulnerability there. And I, I'm excited for people to see that side of her. And this is for both of you, so no spoilers, of course, um, but could you tease the fans a little bit if you have a favorite scene from this season that you filmed? If you can't describe the scene, maybe like the episode it's in? Mine is an episode three. Um, and it's because of the people that were in the scene that I think really um, kind of made an impact on me. Whenever I think about season, filming season two, I have two scenes that I just remember so, like, with joy filming. Um, one I think is episode two. It's either episode two or episode three. And the other one I believe is episode seven. I think seven. Um, I can't tell you anything about them, <laughs> um, but it is, it's about the people in the character journey that I love. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and uh, I'm so excited for everyone to see this streaming December 17th. I need your help. Fine. But first, gentlemen, it's been an honor. What? I made new friends, get over it. Jealous.